There is no shortage of flash super and mega yachts here at the Monaco Yacht Show. But for me, one of my favorites and most impressive boats is Southern Wind's new 96 Sorceress. Let's take a, take a look over her, a boat that really blends cruiser and racer at this size level. Southern Wind are an Italian brand that build fast cruisers in Cape Town. They specialize in 95 to 105 foot performance designs, typically from Nauta and Far, and Sorceress is the first of the 96. Southern Wind have a reputation for building seaworthy fast cruisers. And for this one, the owner, an experienced racing sailor, wanted to up the ante on the performance level. So there's a lot more focus on keeping it light and making it uh, easy to adapt to racing. So this is the first with a pre-preg Nomex core deck. And really what's impressed me are all the details. There's plenty of details that, that sailors will spot that show you it's seaworthy. For, for a start, some winds have to be sailed from Cape Town, typically up to the Mediterranean. That's their shakedown voyage. So a quick 7,000 mile trip and Sorceress made that journey the quickest yet, I think it was 30 days. So you notice walking up the deck, straight away you see this sort of focus on a bit more performance, transverse jib tracks, which allow you to trim when the, when the sheet comes through there, both up and down and in and out and those are on rams under deck. Four performance hark and winches around the mast base. And halyard locks on the, on the Southern Spars rig package as well. Which is a particularly smooth, aggressive looking boom and mast. with EC6 rigging, pretty standard for a yacht, performance yacht of this size now. This is all the first, also the first Southern Wind with features like lift keel and twin rudders um, from far anyway. And also flexi teak, first time. So big flush four deck. And if this opens up easily enough, yeah, have a look at the massive sail locker. Which runs certainly on that port side right down into the bilge. So even though there is uh, space for a tender garage aft on here, this crew put their inflatable either on the foredeck or down here and they have a rib that will go in the container where they, for the delivery they had all their sails contained in the sail locker as they should be. Recessed in a stay furler to the stay sail. And a big long bow spirit taking the anchor roller which, which the captain Dan says is working really well to keep that anchor clear of her plum stem. She is a very attractive looking yacht in my eyes as well. See that these are titanium handrails, titanium Fairleys, titanium cleats, titanium deck fittings. They're all beautifully done. Southern Wind tend to make most things they can in Cape Town because they're a long way from suppliers. But these are actually supplied by a prosthetics company down there. 
the attention to detail is, is superb and the quality of finish from everything I've seen. The rig itself can be raked back by three degrees. Um, as I mentioned, this owner real attention to being able to both cruise in comfort and adapt the boat to racing, to be able to race in regattas without taking it too long to, to transform between modes. In that sleek coach roof, you have a big spray hood and a bimini that links up to it, as well as the uh, boom tent there. And another feature which I like and the crew said was absolutely fantastic on the delivery is in contained in that part there is a, a spray hood as well for the just for the aft cockpit so you know in cruise mode everything is done from right back here So for cruising, keeping the sail systems aft leaves this huge area here, as you can see on crossbow next door, something that southern wind and far do very well. Keep a central cockpit as a you know, social guest area. And the uh, titanium prepreg carbon theme continues right through the boat and that metallic silver color works very well and then you come into this beautiful now to designed ray saloon So even though there's plenty of space and a big area here in the center, big sturdy grab rails on each side, easy to walk around the boat at heel. Local South African paintings give it a nice splash of color and lots of light throughout the boat as well. So lift keel on this one and then moving forward through the corridor celebrating what is a very nice looking mast and this is um, a little bit unusual because the layout can obviously go straight into a, a forward cabin or have another guest cabin here but owner of this one wanted a, a pilot cabin I guess a good sea berth or at sea and you notice all, this, all the berths they have attachments to the lee cloths as well opposite twin cabin nice large heads and shower linen fabric used on the bulkheads and then you into the owner's suite I guess forward so you still still have that very large walk around island berth but at sea and I say the, the owner can use that single berth as well best of both worlds I guess huge walk-in shower forward. You see how those titanium fittings continued right through the interior. And 
sun and wind, known for being good value for money. And as I said, you know, seaworthy boats. But I mean, if you're talking about a value, the the finish on this looks absolutely immaculate. And it's actually moving aft, where I think you'll see how useful it is at sea as well, and for the crew. And I want to send it because I can see it. Nice yes, bar area here. I want to send it to the and another gas, twin gas cabin. So what that ray saloon does is buys all that room below the saloon from the machinery space. So as you move aft, you come into the galley now, and this is all this area aft is really reserved for crew area, and it's a fantastic amount of space. So from the galley, you can walk straight into this the first section, which is a, a shared sort of laundry and workshop area. Proper vice, proper workbench. Filters mounted up there. Washers and dryers. It's fabulously laid out. And then a half height door into a full beam engine room. I think, you know, for a 96 foot yacht, that is a generous area for four crew. Nice galley and U shape as well. So good to work out at sea. Loads of room. This one has lots of mod cons. Induction stove with a grill part for the fish and then you've got an instant chiller for freezing fish or cooling drinks dishwasher nice smart feature is this zip tap it's called so it produces both hot cold and sparkling water instantly Dan the skipper said how another yacht of this size took 600 odd litres of water with them on the delivery sorry 600 bottles and they just have a tap. So, brilliant way of getting rid of plastic. Nice cruise, crew, crew area mess. And then, typical for Southern Wind, is to have all of the crew accommodation aft and a good chart and desk area. One other nice feature is separating a shower area and a heads area so the crew aren't fighting over who's going to be in the shower or who's going to be in the heads. And then of course they have this independent access straight out to the aft cockpit. 